Now that we've edited the config sample file, we can go ahead and upload all of these files onto our website. And there's one more thing that you do have to do to the config sample file. So um, right click on that or however you rename files and you just need to rename that file. And so all we need to do is just take out the dash sample and resave that. So now it's going to be in the correct configuration for the, the WordPress site to figure out um, where that information is. And so now you're ready. So we need to open up the Smart FTP and we do a new remote browser. And if you use the, the start logic hosting, you can go to ftp.startlogic.com, but otherwise you can just put in the actual um, web address of your website. So easy WordPress tutorials.com, put in that www dot there and then it's the username and password for your administration panel username and password and you can go ahead and click OK and that will log you into um, the back side of your website so that you can see the files that you've got on here and so um, go ahead and click on the public HTML and if you already understand this this side of things you can just go ahead and skip past this part but um, what happens is is when when you take all of these files and you put them into the public HTML folder which is showing up right over here that's what's your that's what you're gonna see when you go to easywordpresstutorials.com now I'm gonna use that um, specific web address for something else and you can go check that out if you want I'm gonna put something up there um, very soon right now it just has this home.html and this is all that's on this site currently and so this is a brand new site specifically um, started primarily to show you how to do this on these tutorials but for other purposes as well and so I'm gonna use this exact web address for something something else but what we're gonna do is just create a new folder and we're just gonna call it um, my WordPress website and that's gonna be kinda long but it's gonna get the point across so my WordPress website now um, if I put the files in here then it's gonna show up if we put easy wordpress tutorials dot com forward slash it will show up in here so what we need to do is put all of those files those wordpress files into this folder and of course this folder has the um, the page that you went to to purchase the website hosting and so that's why that's there but this is specifically for our wordpress files so all we gotta do is highlight all of these and drag them either into this folder or into this box. Now I do want to kind of say that sometimes your connection, depending on the internet connection, you know, some of this is depending on your computer and the internet connection that you're using as far as the speeds that you're going to be able to upload this at. So you might want to just take a folder at a time and upload it so it doesn't get bogged down. Um, or you can try doing the whole thing, but you've got to make sure that you get all of these files and that there's no errors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag and drop these over here into that area and I'm gonna go ahead and upload those I won't make you sit here and wait for all that and in in the final um, one of the final steps uh, the next step we're going to actually go online and you have to put in a very specific web address to start and to kinda of launch your account and install that on your website and so that's the next step